Hello students, welcome back to Friend for Learning. Today our lesson is based on scientific inquiry skills. So we are going to see how we can make scientific inquiries via this lesson. Let's get started. So in this lesson, let's see why we use the inquiry skills in how it helps when we have many questions in our mind inquiry skills helps them in resolving them but we need to use these inquiry skills accurately step by step questions can be anything it can be highly scientific or can be silly but the inquiry skills help in resolving all sorts of questions questions can be anything why the sky is so high how to tie my shoelace why flies fly how the planets moves what is the cure for heart attacks which perfumes smells good so you will find answers to all your questions by using inquiry skills. Always follow these steps when you are doing inquiry skills. They are problem, information, hypothesis, experiment, observation and conclusions. Now let's see each of these inquiry skills in details. The first one is problem. First, try to find out the answer to the questions or to solve the problem. Also, be accurate in noting down what is the problem. The second is information. Information is all about gathering data. The data can be gathered by various means like newspapers, magazines, books, scientific methods, past, I mean past scientific methods, reports. It can be anything. The next is hypothesis. Hypothesis refers to the guess you make and guesses can be positive or negative. Usually, we make hypothesis before we start the experiment. The next comes experiment. The experiment is divided into two kinds here. One is the material, the other is the procedure. And in material, it's, we talk about equipments, like it's related to all about equipments you use for the experiment. And these equipments varies according to the needs of the experiments. Okay, you can see here how many equipments that is the material she's having for her experiment. And the next is the procedure, that is what steps you follow while doing the experiment. The next is observations. The information and the data you collected from the experiment is called observation. And it can be in any form. You can produce it in the form of graphs or charts or drawings or pictures. Any form to express your observations. And finally, we come to Conclusion. What answer you find from your experiment or your query? What, what is the end result of your experiment? It's called conclusions. And the last best part is report making. Don't forget, sharing is caring. So share your report with others so that others are also benefited from your work.
I hope you understood this lesson well. Thanks for watching Friend for Learning. You can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Also, you can visit our website www.friendforlearning.com. Thank you and stay safe.